Hey there, it's Jenna from The Intern Hustle, and I have a confession to make. I stalk people on social media. Oh, you do too? I knew I wasn't alone. So what makes you think that recruiters and potential employers aren't doing the same to you? Oh, it's happening, and they're getting a lot more sophisticated at it too. As soon as you apply for an internship or job, they are looking you up online. And I'm sure you know this already, but have you done anything about it? If you wait till you start applying for internships, you might find yourself pulling an all-nighter one night to clean up your social media just so that you can hit send on that application. Or you may forget to do it all together. I wanna help you avoid this social media setback. Hit that like button to find out what you should be doing to clean up your social media so that you make only good impressions on potential employers. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of new videos every single week on this channel. If you've watched my videos on how to build your personal brand, then you've likely started to do some great work on getting clear on your brand, crafting your personal elevator pitch, and more. Now it's time to make sure that your social media matches because your online reputation is important when it comes to your professional opportunities. So your job is to one, clean up any questionable content online, and two, establish a social media presence that reflects your best self. Let's start with this. Have you ever done a Google search on yourself? Because there might be stuff out there that you completely forgot about like your Pinterest profile that has a public board with inappropriate party ideas, or an old YouTube video that you and your friends made your senior year of high school for the class prank that doesn't really put you in a good light. It's time to clean it all up. Do a Google search on yourself, don't forget to check the image results too, and get to work on removing anything that you wouldn't want a potential employer to find. Keep in mind that it might take Google and other search engines a little while to reflect the change, so the earlier that you can get started in your social media cleanup, the better. Next, do an inventory of all your social media accounts. And I mean all of them. Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, Pinterest, Clubhouse, and anything else that may exist at the time that you're watching this video. Deactivate and delete accounts that you don't use anymore. If you're not using them, why keep them? Then clean up accounts that you're still active on. This means removing inappropriate photos, videos, comments, and inappropriate can mean a number of things. So party photos where you're binge drinking or maybe not of legal age, negative comments about your boss, prejudice remarks, quotes with swear words, suggestive photos that show a little too much skin, accounts or groups that you follow that are inappropriate, etc. I even encourage you to remove inappropriate comments left by other people on your accounts or your photos and double check any photos or videos that you have been tagged in by somebody else as well. In addition to removing inappropriate content, take a moment to review and update your privacy settings as necessary. And going private and completely dark online is not the way to go either because employers actually shy away from people who don't have any presence online. So set a positive impression with a positive social media presence rather than being completely undiscoverable. Next, you wanna make sure you're using current and appropriate photos of yourself for your profile photos as well as writing appropriate bios. On most platforms, your profile photo and your bio remain visible even if your account is set to private. Profile photos and bios are a big part of your presence online, and they'll be some of the first things to surface in search results when someone Googles your name. Don't skip this important step. I have another video where I walk you through an Instagram bio makeover step by step. Check it out after this one to get some ideas on how you can show up and reflect your personal brand in a positive way on social media. After some good cleanup, it's time to decide how you wanna show up online. What is your social media presence going to be? And then make sure that you're consistent across all platforms. Think about how you can start thoughtfully engaging with brands and people that you potentially wanna work with someday. You may have heard stories like this, but people actually have gotten internships and jobs by tweeting a person or a company about why they'd be a good fit. Of course, these are more the exception than the rule, but it is becoming more and more common. Creative YouTube videos are another way that people are applying for positions these days even TikTok. And of course, LinkedIn is the best social media platform for your professional presence online. And your LinkedIn profile should be public. I teach a free masterclass all about the eight reasons why you should be using LinkedIn as a student and how you can get started. And I encourage you to join me on the next one. I have so much more to cover with you there. You can sign up at theinternhustle.com slash LinkedIn. Bottom line, you are a part of a generation that grew up on social media. Use it to your advantage, not your disadvantage. How you show up online matters and employers and recruiters will look you up. Clean up your social media presence and ensure that you're putting your best foot forward. Always think before you post because things can live on if people download or screenshot before you get a chance to take it down yourself. And be sure to do that Google search on yourself every few months to make sure that you are still happy with what you find there. Thanks for watching. If this video gave you some new insights today, please give it a like and share it with a friend or two. Hit that red subscribe button and bell below so that you don't miss out on future videos. In support of your hustle, I'm Jenna from theinternhustle.com and I'll see you next Monday.